third tip, I want to show you how Confluence can be used together with Jira to provide you some visibility of Jira issues in a report format. And Jira and Confluence together make a very powerful reporting tool. I'm just going to sort of introduce you to that now. So we'll start with, I'm going to create a, a blank page rather than using a template this time. Um, but there is a template that links and produces some out of the box Jira reports as well. Also need to give the page a title. Um, I'm just going to call this uh, Android Project Stories, for example. We're just going to we're going to just insert some Jira issues into this so that you can see what's going on. My next step is I need to go to Jira and create uh, a filter. So I'll go to the issue search or the issue navigator screen, and I want to filter this down a little bit just to produce the report content that I want to see. In confidence. So I'm going to just uh, start filtering these down. I'm going to choose my Android project and perhaps maybe just the story issue type or something like that there. So that's, that's returned 47 Jira issues out. That would be fine. Maybe I could set the ones that are open or something like that if I wanted to as well. It doesn't really matter. Once I've defined the filter, I'm going to save this because I want to reuse this as well. Give it a name. Quite often I might need to share this as well for other people so they can see it. We'll do that later. In order to give this a confluence, it's very straightforward. What I generally do is choose the list view because that gives me a tidier URL at the top here. Now you see the URL at the top, if I just highlight that, it's the filter number that identifies this particular filter that's being displayed here. And if I copy that into the clipboard, return to my confluence page, and then just do a simple paste, you see as if by magic the screen changes and it shows this sort of image here. Press the publish button, and what this then does is it displays all of those issues from Jira. Now, this is a live report, as, as you'd expect. So all of these statuses are pulled from JIRA, the assignees, resolved resolutions, when they were last updated, all of those things. So if I come to the page in a few days' time, this might be completely different depending on what's changed in JIRA. Not exactly finished. I can do a few more things. So I might edit the page again. Click in here and then click on the edit button here. Under the display options, this is where we can customize what is shown on this table. So I could do things like just display the total number of issues based on this query if I wanted, or just display a single issue, that could be very useful as well. We've got some other configurations. We can uh, limit the number of issues that's shown on each page, or we can choose which columns to display as well. So if there are some custom fields that we want to bring across from Jira that's not already included, uh, there'll be any, so for example, description or something like that. Press the insert button there, then press update. That's modified the report to include the description as well. I hope you find that one useful. As well as just being able to show tables, you can bring uh, Jira dashboard gadgets across this conference page. So you can, using the uh, editing tools and the, the layout page, uh, tools for the page, to create all sorts of displays that are all producing live information from confidence. Uh, we quite often use this for management reporting, point in time reporting, um, anything useful like that where people perhaps aren't used to working in Jira and just want a display of the information that they can see in a report format. If they want to drill in, of course all of these links here would just take you straight to Jira so you can get the uh, information or look at things or add comments to the tickets if you want to at that point as well.